Let's talk about the mean of the probability distribution. We know for a fact that the mean for a sample or population was computed by adding the values and dividing by the total number of values. Pero paano natin i-compute? Let's say yung number of spots that will show on top when a die is rolled. You could try rolling the die, say 10 times, then recording the number of spots and finding the mean. However, the answer would only approximate the true mean. So what about 50 rolls? How about 100 rolls? Actually, the more times the die is rolled, the better the approximation. However, the question here is, ilang beses ba dapat natin i-roll ang die to get the exact answer? Matatawa ka, but it must be rolled an infinite number of times. Since, of course, it is impossible to use the formula na alam na natin before in getting the average, since the denominator would be infinity, kaya a new method of computing the mean is necessary. At pag-uusapan natin yon sa video na ito. So, the mean or expected value of a random variable with a discrete probability distribution is given by this formula. Sa madaling salita, in order to find the mean, i-multiply lang natin each of the possible outcomes or values of the random variable, ito nga yung x, by its corresponding probabilities, then i-add lang natin lahat. That's how we find the mean or expected value. So for example, find the mean of the number of spots that appear when a die is tossed. Technically, when we say spots, we mean the dots okay, na makikita natin sa ating die. So we can construct a probability distribution like this one, okay, where the first column consists of all the outcomes. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or simply the values of the random variable. And then for the second column, we have the probability of each outcome. Okay, so in getting one spot, the probability is 1, 6. In getting two spots, the probability is still 1, 6. In getting three spots, the probability is still 1, 6, and so on and so forth. Now for the third column, we simply multiply the outcome, okay, to its corresponding probability. So 1 times 1, 6, we get 1 over 6. 2 times 1, 6, we get 2 over 6. Take note, kahit wag muna natin isimplify because the denominators are all 6, so hindi tayo mahihirapan kapag nag-add tayo mamaya. 3 times 1, 6, we get 3 over 6. 4 times 1, 6, we get 4 over 6. 5 times 1, 6, we get 5 over 6. And 6 times 1, 6, we get 6 over 6 or equivalent to 1. Now, after this, we're gonna add all these, okay? So, using this, and we now have 21 over 6. Take note now, 1 over 6, plus 2 over 6, plus 3 over 6, and so on. We get 21 over 6, or simply 3 and 1 half, and in decimal, we have 3.5. That is, so when a die is tossed many times, the theoretical mean uh, will be 3.5, okay? Note that even though the die cannot show a 3.5, that is the theoretical average, okay? The theoretical average is 3.5. The reason why this formula uh, gives the theoretical mean is that in the long run, each outcome would occur approximately one-sixth, okay, of the time. So therefore, by multiplying the outcome by its corresponding probability and finding the sum would yield to the theoretical mean. Another example, let's say in a family with two children, find the mean of the number of children who will be girls. So in this case, we can still uh, construct a probability distribution table with an additional third column, of course. So we see here on this table that the values of the random variable x, okay, number of girls, are 0, 1, and 2. So you can also uh, write the sample space para mas ma-imagine mo siya at mas maintindihan. So the probability that the number of girl is 0 is, of course, 1 fourth. 
Because sa ating sample space, alam natin na may chance naman na sa family of two children, wala talagang girl. And that is when the two children are boys. Okay, so that's 1 over 4. And for the probability that the number of girl is 1, we have 1 half. Kasi dalawa. So we have BG here and then GB. Then the probability that the number of girls is 2, we have 1 fourth. Okay? That is 1 out of 4. By multiplying the outcomes to its corresponding probability, we have 0 times 1 fourth is 0, 1 times 1 half is 1 half, and then 2 times 1 fourth is 2 over 4, and that is equivalent to 1 half. To find the mean, we simply add this. So 0 plus 1 half plus 1 half, and that is equal to 1. So the mean of the number of children who will be girls is equal to 1. I hope that you learned something about this video. Thank you for watching.